All right, what's up, everybody? Tonight we're going to look at the the first four banks of the presets on the Hughes and Kettner Grandmeister Deluxe 40. Uh, typically, I use the stomp box mode, and I have like this channel set up for my live uh, setting, and um, that's uh, that gets tweaked at every venue and every show. Um, one thing I really haven't done though is, is uh, checked out the presets, so that's what we're going to do now. Um, starting with preset number one. Uh, channel one for bank number one. Here we go. Slightly overdriven clean green. Nice. All right, number two or channel two of bank one. Slightly more crunch, no effects. Alright, sweet. Channel three. Actually, let me put that down, down the bridge. It's pretty cool. I like that. Now let's go to channel three. Solid rhythm and lead channel. Cool. Channel four. Sort of Eric Johnson. Moving on to bank two, so it's just kind of your run of the mill. That's just the channels of the thing, pretty much. Bank two, here we go. Channel one. <laughs> That's actually the clean channel boosted. Channel two of bank two. Solid read, uh, lead channel that could be good classic rock uh, solo. Right. Very 
very cool. This is channel four of Bank Two. Oh. Some Merle Haggard. Very cool. Channel three of Bank Three. Very spacey lead. To bank four, channel one. That's a super classic rock. Oh, I love that. Ha <laughs> ha 
keep that at 10 minutes. So as you can see, there is a lot of really good variety. And what is really killer about this amp, along with these presets, is you can definitely hit the face of this or go to the effects loop with all kinds of pedals. So I'll be, I'll be making videos about like the crunch channel and how to get some really cool, like old school, like 80s tones, ones that come through like crystal clear, like the very nice Van Halen stuff that happens in the late 80s, uh, where he just has that super clear yet overdriven tone. Um, but uh, yeah, on the Grandmeister, 40 though I will be very upfront and say that this is actually my third head in two months um, the first one the noise gate just quit working and it had some very bad noise crackling whistling popping issues and actually footage of this happening mid concert so that was uh, really great um, the second head they replaced that with the standby switch just broke <laughs> I could just as in the middle of a recording session like I went to hit it on standby and like picked up my guitar and uh, like came back and it was just plugging and I, I couldn't believe it so um, this is actually the third one I'm on but um, I, I want to stick with them and I'm gonna stick with this head I don't care how many I go through it's it's too good the direct input is too good I will absolutely say that the Hughes and Kettner cap that comes with it is uh, definitely the right cap to have for it. I've, I've tried Harley Benton and I've got a Marshall um, JCM 900 lead 1960 cab uh, 2x12. It's a very nice cab with a lot of bottom end and everything. It just doesn't sound the same. So uh, I would say, yeah, the Hughes and Kettner cab is uh, absolutely. But uh, we'll do we'll do the uh, we'll do the next four banks um, tomorrow and. Um, and then we might do some other stuff. But anyways, hope everybody's having a good spring break and um, staying safe. Nice. And am I going to do any speed ticket tutorials? I'm not really sure I need to. Uh, there's a lot of speed bait tutorials out there. What I might do is talk about, I don't know, shredding and speed picking like in improvisational settings and what happens there and why it, you know, how do you play and ram all those notes and keep on going and keep on going like on the fly. But um, very few people do that or can do that. I don't know what the right word is. I'm not even sure if people are interested to hear that kind of thing. So. Again, still trying to find the, the right avenue which this channel is going to be. It's probably just going to be a hodgepodge of nonsense, um, uh, guitar related. But I will be posting quite a bit more uh, with the soft quarantine that we're now under. And so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, get ready for some very raw videos because I'm not editing shit. I, don't, I just don't care anymore. Peace.